Hello, short story writers. Today, it's supposed to be a news day, and I found this while trawling through the news. It was one of those clickbaity things. Seven amazing things you can do with blah, blah, blah. In this case, it was lemons. So, the first thought that popped into my mind was, if life gives you lemonades, lemonades, lemons make lemonade. As if that's the only alternative. Actually, if life gives you a ton of lemons, you're in quite a lot of luck. I think maybe this is not uh, the best saying on the planet. Because if life gives you lemons, you can do a bunch of stuff. You can make limoncello. You could probably you can make lemon tea, lemon meringue pie. There's a kind of a jam. Um lemon curd. There's loads of things you can do with lemons, provided you add a lot of sugar. I'm very fond of lemon meringue pie for a start. So, this is your prompt, okay? Start off by writing a story about somebody who has been taunted or teased with that, that saying. And <clears throat> Maybe in your story your protagonist has literally been given a ton of lemons and has to find some way of doing something with them. Or it's a similar situation where something unfortunate has happened and your protagonist hears this phrase or thinks this phrase and decides right how to make the best out of it and does so. So that is the initial starting point. The T is the challenge. Life gives you lemonade. Le <laughs> How to turn lemons into some form of one sweet thing that two is maybe economically or socially viable. So, very quickly, this could become a romance because the person doing it finds self-confidence and that becomes attractive to a member of their romantic interest group. Uh, comedy, I'm sure there's tons of room for comedy as they try and try and try to make lemonade and it's, you know, you get those squirmy moments, science fiction, fantasy, horror and surreal. Well, maybe the lemonade turns out to be a potion which gives them magic powers or psychic powers or unleashes the inner demon inside them. Crime mystery thrillers. They, the protagonist, they, you know, only one, but um, decide to murder the person who says this to them with the lemonade. So they get revenge by proving that they are capable of making lemonade from lemons and then they use it to murder most foul or perform murder most foul commit murder most foul upon the person taunting them and everybody else who ever doubted them um, yeah you could use lemons as projectiles couldn't you there are potato guns so why not lemon guns political mm. how about some region downtrodden region of a country that is looked down on. Every, every country has one. Um, there are north-south divides in a lot of countries, including Britain. So they take their figurative lemons and use them to lure a lot of tourists and become rich. And then there's all kinds of uprisings and social balance is achieved. Um, maybe, or not. Biographical. Well, again, it could be the history or the, uh, what was that, a creative non-fictional um, story of Helen Keller for a start. I mean, if anybody was handed lemons, it would be her. And look what she did with those. She ended up being a motivational well, figure, really, just by her very existence, but she gave motivational speeches as well. 
What an example that lady was. Surreal, political, historical, crime, mystery, fantasy, sci-fi, romance. Oh, and literary fiction. Well, people are faced with adverse circumstances all the time. And it would be a mistake to think that literary fiction only has to be an account of human misery. We are not writing the equivalent of soap opera here. Why not write something which is true to life on a positive level? Could be done. All right, so that would be it. Oh, 540. I'm doing a lot better. Okay, if you have found this hint in any way, shape, or form useful, and I think that there's definitely a story to be written here, then please give us a like, give us a thumbs up, or whatever they are, and. Um, subscribe and let the algorithm know that this is a useful channel for you and for your fellow writers and on that note i will say good evening and get writing hmm. good evening and get writing is it kind of i'll maybe i'll use that as my sign off phrase in future and then maybe i'll just forget all about it because that's the kind of memory i have bye for now good evening and get writing <laughs>